So today I want to talk to you because I grew up pretty poor. And listen, we ran out of toilet paper often when we were younger. And it wasn't because people were hoarding it. It was because we just didn't have enough money to go get more toilet paper at the time. So we improvised. Um, come on, guys. You don't need toilet paper to wipe your butts. Okay, so I'm going to give you some tips. All right. So number one tip. You want to go organic on the toilet paper. Go out. Make yourself some nice leaves. Um, you want the big ones. Big ones for, you know, the number twos. Uh, you want to be able to cover your tush tush, you know, so put maybe two or three of them together. You get a nice wipe. You get a nice wipe out of it. Now these are a little crunchy because I waited a little late in the season to, to harvest these, but I like to keep the green ones around. Those are nice, okay? But if that gets too rough on your tush tush, need something a little softer, go, go with the greener version, you know? And these smell good, so when you wipe, it's going to release this nice fragrance um, and it's going to deodorize you down there as well. So that's, that's a good option. Number two is people are going out and buying bidets and they're installing bidets. If you don't know what a bidet is, it's a, it's a thing you put on your toilet, it shoots water, up your boop boop and your beep beep. <laughs> your boop boop and your beep beep. Okay? Figure it out which one is which. <laughs> but if you don't want to go do that, just go get yourself a nice spray bottle. This is an all purpose spray bottle. It's got a spray and it's got a squirt option for when you need to get in there and, you know, really clean things up. So, Use your squirt bottle. Now, I put warm water in here because it's just a nice, gentle touch to make you feel fresh. But if you want to get fancy, you can fill that sucker with some Pellegrino, baby. Because I bet they're not out of this yet. <laughs> Oof. Who would dream this? I would only put this in my squirt bottle as my bidet. <laughs> and that's if you want that nice effervescent feeling. You know, you want those scrubbing bubbles to get you clean and fresh. And then if you need a little dab, just go out and get one of your mother-in-law's dish towels <laughs> to dab it afterwards. Just don't tell her what you're using it for. Put it at the bottom of the hamper when you're done. No harm, no foul. Don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> All right, guys. And if worse comes to worse, look, we got a, a package of some used, well, these aren't used. These are still new. Swim diapers from the grandkids at summertime. And I'll tell you what, I mean, I would try to rock this. I think I could rock that. Okay. So if you have any questions amidst this crazy, crazy time, Come talk to a professional who's been through some crazy times. Well, there were times in my younger years, we didn't know what we were going to eat for dinner from one day to the next. We ate beans, we ate potatoes, we ate rice. And then at the end of the week, we made a big stew out of all of it. And if you need any more resourceful tips, give me a call. 360-9705. I'm Becky Fuentes. Ellen, 